How is everyone doing? Welcome back to this guitar tutorial for the weekend's new song, Sacrifice. So, we'll get straight into it. Now, how it's going to go is as follows. That's the main riff. Then the pre-chorus will be going... Okay, some nice jazz chords. And then we have on the chorus it goes All right, so let's get into it straight away and remember to like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date for future new releases on Fridays. So we're going to begin with the second fret on the A string. Okay, and then Want to play the fourth fret on the A string. So you go two, four, two, two, two. Then the fifth fret on the A string. That's what we get so far. Sped up it goes. Now, here's the deal. If you use all downs, uh, it is a bit too forced. So we want to introduce an up stroke here and there to it. To do that, you will pick with the up here, you'll go down, up, down, down, down. I'll do that one more time. It goes down, up, down, down, down. Then you put your pinky on the fifth fret. So you go five, five, four, 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 five, four. So that riff you'll play three times in a row. Now the next thing to watch out for is how it's played here with this hand. It's done using our. Using our pan mutant on the right side here. So to do a pan mute, you'll basically bring your wrist and just bring it over with the pan over the bridge there. Okay, now the final bit, you do that three times. Now finally, it starts the same again with the two, four, two, two, two. Then you'll drop your ring finger down to the fourth fret of D and finish with the five, four. So that one goes as follows. Like that. Now, so the main riff played all together, it'll be four times and it's only the fourth time that's different. Okay, so it goes three, four. there okay now to get into the chords then i do have a play along video of this done as well if you want to check that out it'll be in the description below where i play through the whole song so that's done for verse one and finally then what happens after that it goes the ooh. Ooh. some mad chords in this took me a while to figure out so this first chord is done as follows. It is your index finger on the second fret of A. You hit the open string underneath. Then you play the second fret again on G, then third fret on B. That's your chord. Now you have two options. You can either strum it like that, or you can go like this. I'm basically, I'm basically Hitting the thumb on the A string and using my middle ring and pinky to play those there. Whichever one you're comfortable doing. So that's the first chord. 
Then the next chord goes as follows. Use your index on the third fret on the top string, hit the D string, ring finger on fourth fret of G, then middle finger on third fret of B. Let me get that. Okay, so we're gonna go from this chord. I don't wanna And the final chord, which we'll pick twice, you get your index and middle on the second fret of G and B, ring finger on the third fret of E at the top. So you pick the top string, then with these three fingers, you're going to pick the bottom three strings here. Like that. Okay, so we have our three chords. We have this chord. Then this one. And two of this. Okay, so that's the ubit, the refrain it's called. So it goes three, four, uh. Now, that's verse one with the riff. Into the refrain. Into verse two then, which is the riff again. Third time, fourth time. Just watching out for that. It's pretty cool though, like when you think of the few notes that are done. Now after verse two, you go into the pre-chorus and the pre-chorus goes as follows. We got our B minor chord, which is up here. Okay, that's your bar chord, seventh fret on the E top, and then E minor shape. So you get that chord, then you get your A6, and all these chords will be listed in the description of the video with like numbers identifying the frets. Okay, so we get that. And then you play E with the G sharp. Now before I do that one, this A6 chord, it's basically like your A major bar chord, but you're basically moving the pinky down two strings, your ring finger down one string, and you strum the E string, nothing's coming out on that A string, then these three. So you get your A6. So you go. Then we get E with the G sharp bass, which is done with fifth fret on B. Index finger on the fourth fret above that. Ring finger on six on D. Then your thumb goes on the E string on the top. Like that. And then we get G6, which is the same shape as the A6, just down two frets. So it goes like this all together, it goes And the same again Right, now that E with the G sharp, I'm going to bet it might be a bit tricky for some If it is, all you gotta do is leave out the, the thumb and use your ring finger here on the five, middle on the four, pinky on the six, index on the top. That can work. So you're going from here. All right, that'll be one. Now, if that's still too much, just do this instead. So. All I did was do what we did earlier, leave out the thumb at the top. Now, that's the pre-chorus, and that brings us into our chorus then. And the chords of the chorus were the same ones we had for the refrain at the end of verse one. So instead of the, uh, instead, instead of the ooze over now, we get, and I'm Now you might be wondering, 
How come it's the same chords as the chorus used so early? Uh, a lot of pop artists are doing that nowadays. It's just to kind of get the sound of the chords and the melody into your head before the chorus comes. So it is catchier than in our perception. Bit of brain science there. Uh, so now we got the chords and we got the movements going down. Now what happens next is we go back to the refrain after the chorus and the refrain this time though, instead of the chords over the oohs, it's the riff. It goes ooh. And then we're into verse three. Verse three contains the riff again, the refrain. Now, although there is stuff being repeated here, keep in mind there are some things to finish watching here because there is some finer details. So here's one. When I'm picking the riff, notice how little my hand is moving. Um, there can be a style where you go where you go like that. I'm not that interested for this tutorial because it is a pan muted sound. Now the next thing then is you have your pre-chorus again with the bar chords. Okay, and after that then we get our chorus again. And after that, we get our bridge. The bridge is, is at two minutes 13 the song. You can check it out. It's the same chords as the pre-chorus. Okay, so we're getting towards the end here. We'll keep watching because you gotta watch out at the end. The outro is the same riff. Now that final one there, just keep an eye out that you still can use it. And that's all of how to play Sacrifice by the weekend. Now another suggested video is going to pop up right about now. I suggest you check it out and it's going to help you on your guitar journey to learn some modern songs. Thanks for watching. See you soon.